Hello and welcome back to the channel for part 2 of the Briggs & Stratton Vertical Engine Rebuild. All of the parts have been cleaned and I will begin to reinstall them back into the engine's block. It is good practice to use lubricants when reinstalling the engine's components to avoid damage to the engine's components and or the engine. I am choosing to use an all-purpose grease and engine motor oil for my lubricants for this project. Any viscosity motor oil will work. I will start with reinstalling the valve train. which includes the valves, the intake and the exhaust valve, valve springs, and the retainers. To ease the installation of the valve springs, I use the Briggs & Stratton valve spring compressor tool. I will show you how to set this tool up on another episode.
Next is the piston and the connecting rod. Make sure to lubricate the cylinder and the piston. The piston has three rings. The top two is for compression. The bottom ring is for oil control. The rings do not fully encompass the piston. They have a gap in the center. Never align the piston ring gaps consecutively. Doing so could cause a loss of compression. It is best to space the gaps in opposite directions. The piston ring will need to be compressed in order to fit inside of the cylinder. The special tool for this job is a piston ring compressor. The piston ring compressor compresses or push the rings inward so the piston can fit into the cylinder bore. I will go more in depth on how to use the piston ring compressor on another episode. Next is the crankshaft, followed by the camshaft. I am adding grease to the crank pin, connecting rod journal, and the connecting rod bearing.
The crankshaft should turn smooth and free. This crankshaft has a separate removable timing gear. It fits into the alignment tab on the crankshaft. This small dot is the timing mark indicator and it must align with a similar marking on the camshaft for proper engine timing. Up next is the tappet valves. That small notch is the timing mark indicator for the camshaft gear. I will conclude today's episode with the installation of the Governor Oil Slinger. And I will see you on part three of the Briggs and Stratton vertical engine rebuild. Thank you for watching.